As a formidable opponent of Boeing in the sky, Airbus has always proven its strength in the past decades by launching the most popular commercial aircraft models. It has been three years since Airbus stopped production of the A380. Perhaps this is also the time that the European manufacturer should start planning for the next generation aircraft. There is information that it will be the A390, with its advanced design and outstanding capabilities, it will be the factor that could change air travel forever. So how will this plane do it? Will airlines operate them? Let's find out in today's episode. But before we start, if you're new, please leave a like and subscribe to help us build this channel. And you will also be the first to see our new content in the future. Now, let's dive in. The long haul aircraft promises unprecedented advances in fuel efficiency, passenger comfort, and environmental sustainability. The A390 is designed to accommodate up to 450 passengers, and it is positioned as a direct competitor to two Boeing aircraft, 777 and 787 Dreamliner. The A390 boasts a range of over 10,000 nautical miles, allowing airlines to operate long-haul flights with ease. This capability promises to be a game-changer for airlines looking to expand their global reach without compromising efficiency. The aircraft's advanced aerodynamics combined with the latest generation of high-speed turbofan engines ensure a significant reduction in fuel consumption. Airbus claims that the A390 will have a 25% improvement in fuel efficiency compared to its predecessors, making it one of the greenest aircraft in the skies. It is likely that Rolls-Royce Ultrafan will be the engine chosen to supply fuel for this aircraft. This next generation engine is designed to deliver significant improvements in fuel efficiency and environmental performance. It is expected to be 25% more fuel efficient than the first generation of Rolls-Royce Trent engines, making it a strong candidate for many future long-haul aircraft. Or there are also suggestions that it could be a hydrogen-powered engine. In an effort towards the sustainability of the aviation industry, Airbus has announced plans to produce hydrogen-powered aircraft by 2035 and this engine may be equipped for future aircraft models such as the A390 companies, such as Rolls-Royce and General Electric, have also begun the early stages of research into hydrogen combustion and fuel cell technology. One of the outstanding features of the A390 is its innovative cabin design. This is also the factor that Airbus always gives top priority to in order to bring passenger comfort. And the A390 will also still be designed according to this guideline its cabin is more spacious, providing ample legroom and personal space for passengers. The use of advanced materials and advanced technology has resulted in a quieter and more comfortable flying experience. The aircraft also incorporates new features such as the inclusion of larger overhead bins, customizable lighting, and improved air quality. These features are designed to enhance the overall passenger experience, making long airline flights more enjoyable and less taxing. The announcement about the A390 could not be more appropriate at a time when the aviation industry is recovering from the severe impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. Airlines want to modernize their fleets and improve operational efficiency to stay competitive in this challenging market. The new aircraft is likely to present an attractive proposition for airlines, combining cost savings with enhanced passenger appeal. It is possible that in the future, some major airlines will express interest in it with orders being placed soon. It will become a mainstay in the fleets of leading airlines around the world. The introduction of the A390 also underlines Airbus's commitment to sustainability in an aviation industry that is facing increasing environmental scrutiny. This has a big impact on aircraft manufacturers when it comes to developing greener aircraft. The airplane has improved fuel efficiency and reduced emissions in line with Airbus's long-term sustainability goals. The company has invested heavily in research and development to create an aircraft that not only meets but exceeds the stringent environmental standards set by regulatory agencies. This commitment to sustainability is likely to resonate with environmentally conscious consumers and enhance Airbus's reputation as a leader in sustainable aviation. Currently, the commercial aircraft market is dominated by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. The Boeing 777X has already faced many challenges from delays as well as technical problems, now facing stiff competition from the A390. With the desire to replace the old, ineffective fleet of 777, the 777X brings improved efficiency and operating range. 
However, the A390's superior fuel efficiency and passenger amenities may yet win the day. Additionally, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, another major competitor, has also been considered a commercial success since its launch. Famous for its fuel economy and passenger comfort, the 787 Dreamliner is a popular choice among airlines for long-haul flights. Advanced materials and cutting-edge technology give the Dreamliner an edge, potentially making it the preferred choice for airlines looking to modernize their fleets. But the A390 aims to surpass the Dreamliner by offering greater efficiency and a more luxurious flying experience. Additionally, despite being an older model than the 777X and 787, the Boeing 747-8 still serves long-haul routes with significant passenger and cargo capacity, making it a competitor to the A390 in some certain market. Designed primarily for shorter routes than the A390, the 737 MAX 10 can still compete in overlapping market segments, especially for airlines focused on cost efficiency and fleet popularity. As part of Airbus's product line, the A350 family includes two variations 900 and 1000, providing long-range flight capabilities and high efficiency. It can also be considered an internal competitor. Another competitor, although still in development, represents potential competition in the future. That is the Comac C929, a joint venture product between China's Comac and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation, and Russia's Irkut MC21, although primarily aimed at the medium haul market, could play a competitive role with Airbus's new aircraft in areas where long haul requirements are met through variants or certain operational strategies. In addition to Boeing, other manufacturers are also eyeing this talented market such as Bombardier and Embraer. They are making strides in developing aircraft that serve market niches. They highlight the competitive dynamics within the industry and the constant push for innovation. The impact of the A390 extends beyond the commercial. The aircraft's advanced technology and materials are likely to influence future aircraft developments in different segments. The use of advanced aerodynamic lightweight composite materials and efficient engines could become standard features in new aircraft designs. This trickle-down effect could lead to continued improvements in the commercial jet business and even spill over into the military aircraft sector. The innovation of the A390 could set new standards for the entire aviation industry, driving further advancements and improving overall efficiency. Airbus announcement about the A390 also emphasizes the importance of partnerships and strategic cooperation in the aerospace industry. It is clear that developing a new aircraft is a complex and expensive endeavor requiring significant investment. Airbus research and development and testing leveraged its extensive network of suppliers and partners to bring the A390 to fruition. This collaborative approach not only speeds up the development process, but also ensures that the aircraft benefits from the latest technology. The engine manufacturers, material suppliers, and avionics companies played a key role in the construction of this aircraft. The introduction of the A390 is likely to have a ripple effect on the wider aviation ecosystem. Airports that want to accommodate new aircraft will need to upgrade their infrastructure and facilities. Ground handling agencies and maintenance and catering service providers are no exception, and will all need to adapt to the new A390 requirements. This ripple effect extends to the supply chain, where parts and materials suppliers will need to ramp up production to meet demand for new aircraft. This positively promotes economic activity and creates new opportunities for businesses. The launch of the A390 also sparked interest in the potential for future technological advancements. Manufacturers will likely explore new frontiers, such as autonomous flight, using electric and hybrid motors and advanced materials. The A390 represents a significant step forward, but also a glimpse into the future of aviation as technology continues to enhance innovation in aircraft design and performance. Although it is almost certain that one day there will be a new Airbus aircraft, we will have to wait for more when it will be officially launched on the market. As for the present, the company is making efforts to produce and supply airlines with its latest aircraft models, the A220 and A350 especially the A350 aircraft, it will participate in many important aviation projects, and it will certainly be focused on promoting even more strongly in the coming future. 
Although Boeing's 797 program is still a long way off, Airbus may one day find a new plane to compete with. And, of course, the future will continue to be competition with new generation aircraft that will completely change the aviation industry. And do you think between Boeing's 797 and Airbus A390, which aircraft will come first in the future?